Hey everybody, welcome back to Outward. In today's video, I'll be showing you every single outfit that is currently in the game. Everything from the armor pieces you see here to full outfits, to the miscellaneous stuff that has nothing outfit-wise except the one piece itself, to clothes and robes and stuff like that down here in the actual beach. Now before we actually begin, if you guys want to see every weapon that is currently in Outward, there's an annotation right here in the top right corner. You can click on that and check out the weapons if you'd like to. And the last thing that I just want to mention is that I have no passive skills or active skills whatsoever on this count. So when I do show you stats for these full armors with abilities and stats behind them, the numbers you'll be seeing is just from that outfit alone. So we'll begin right here with the actual armor sets. I feel like most people want to see this anyway. So here is our first one. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name because I'll just butcher it. But anyway, here is it is. The masks all have the same stats. They just look a little bit differently. Let me rotate my character a little bit. There we go. So we'll do this one. That one kind of looks pretty cool with the big horns. We have that mask and we have the cat mask. All the same stats. The next set that we have is the runic. So here is the individual stats on that one. You guys can check that out. And then we have the... And then there is the full stat for that one as well. And there's what it looks like in the front. The mask is super ugly. The helmet, if you even call it a helmet. I don't even know how you can see other thing. It's just hideous. We'll move on to the ammo light. I'm probably butchering that one as well, but there's the looks on it. It looks kind of just like bark. There is the individual stats on that one for you guys. You guys can check that out. And here is and here is the overall stats for the entire outfit itself. Looks really weird though. I honestly don't like it. Kind of reminds me of like being like a Wookie or something. Now the next one guys is the silver armor set which is right here. You can see the individual stats right there. Now some of them actually do have shields with them or shields I think belong with the outfit set. So like the tower shield for example is the one I put with this one and it looks really well. Here's the overall stat on it right here. You guys check out the defense stats right there. This armor set I will say I think actually does look fairly decent but there is a lot better looking ones for sure. The next one is the black plate. Let's pick up all this stuff. There we go. Looks kind of like a rope, but it looks really nice. I actually really like the helmet. Here's the stats again for the individual pieces. And if we go here to our stats, there's the overall defense stats for you guys right there. Next, we have the Crimson, which is by far one of my favorite, favorite looking outfits. It looks just crazy. That helmet is so cool looking. Here is the individual pieces right there. You can check those out along with the shield. Here is the overall stats on that right there. Some pretty good defense stats from coming from this outfit set. Here is the Tassar set, which again looks really good. The shield just looks amazing. The helmet looks great. One of my favorite, favorite outfits in this game currently. Here's the individual stats on these guys for you. There you go. And here's the overall right there. Again, the defense stats on this is pretty, pretty good. And next we have the Copal armor set, which also looks really <laughs> good as well. I actually like the gold. It's, it's Copal, but it looks like gold. I really like it. Here's the Copal boots, the helm, the armor. You can see the individual stats. It's got pretty good resistance against lightning for the entire set though. So let's go back here and there's your defense stats right there. But for those of you who just like to RP a little bit and just match your outfits or have good outfits, this is probably a really good outfit to have. Now we have the blue sand outfit, which looks kind of interesting. I don't know, the helmet looks really plain, but I actually really like the actual full outfit itself. Here's the stats on this right here. There's the boots, you have the armor piece, and we have the sand helm. Let's go to the overall stats. Now the, the resistance against elements is actually pretty good, 25 across the board for the entire set. I think that's a pretty good deal to take. Next we have this armor that I'm going to try to pronounce because I was butchered the name and someone will say something about it down below. Now I really, really, really like the color on this, but I think just the overall look of the armor looks just awful. Like, it's like roots going through the armor piece, I just, I don't know. I don't like the overall look of it, but here's the stats for you guys that are interested, individual, and here is the overall. The defense is pretty good though, 62 and 64, but there's no resistance against elements. Now next we have Plidium, which actually has two different shields, and you get a unicorn helmet apparently. I actually haven't seen this uh, outfit yet myself. So we'll put on the normal shield first. This is what the normal shield looks like with it in the front. I really don't like the helmet whatsoever, but I do like the actual chest plate there. Here's the stats on that, so you guys can see there, there's the armor, the helmet. There's this shield, and this shield is the same stat-wise. It's just, it's rainbow. There's just a rainbow variant of it, kind of cool looking. Here's the overall stats on that for you guys. Again, the defense is actually fairly well with a really good 60 on that one right there. That's pretty good. Next, we have the candle armor set, which you guys should have seen if you ever unlocked mana before. I actually have never seen the helmet, though. That helmet, you know, looks weird. Honestly, it matches the outfit really well. I don't know why I think that. But here's the, in the individual stats on this for you guys. Pretty good against fire and lightning actually. So let's go to the overall. And here's the overall stats for the candle outfit right here, the full set. 
Got 68, 49, 7, 60, and 60. Actually, pretty good stats overall for this Armistead, I think. And I actually really like the look of it. I don't know why I like that helmet so much, because like, there's nothing really crazy about it. I just, I just like the helmet. Now, something to note, you'll see I'm not wearing boots, or actually is not a boot for this armor set, which I thought was kind of weird. But here's the stats on this one for you guys that are interested in seeing it. Here's the overall. If we have 48, a 36, and a 5. The actual armor piece looks, you know, fairly good, though. Like, honestly, the mask and the actual armor piece looks good. I just, I just don't know why there's not boots for it, but there's, yeah, there's no boots. Next, we have the Petrified Wood set, and there's what that looks like for you mages out there. So probably be one of your best friends, I'd imagine. There is the individual stats right there. Good fire resistance. Let's go here. You got 60, 42, 41, and 4. Now, next is the wolf outfit, which is by far, by far my favorite outfit in the entire game. If you guys will probably see why here in a second. Just like, look at this. Look how amazing this outfit looks. Now keep in mind, there are two different helmets and the stats do change. So I will show you guys both of those with the full sets. But there's the boots, the armor, the helmet. Here's the second helmet. You guys can see the difference there. One has a plus 15% mana cost and a plus 30%. And there's the shield itself. So here's your overall stats with the helmet that's open. You guys can check that out right there. If you go back here, I'll put the actual helmet on. And there's the stat difference right there for you guys. But man, does this outfit just look gorgeous. By far my favorite in the game. So guys, we're actually almost done with the armor set here. Next is the half plate. Let's pick all this up. Here is the half plate armor set. Looks kind of just simple, but good at the same time, actually. Here is the stats on each armor piece for you guys right there. Nothing too crazy. Here's the overall stats on it right there. But I will say this. It's actually an, it's actually a nice, simple-looking outfit. I kind of like it. It'd be a nice thing to run around in when you're cruising around doing your own thing. Next we have the basic plate armor and there's what that looks like right there. The helmet is god awful and I actually put the steel shield with this one as well because I thought it matched kind of well. Here are the individual stats right there. You guys can check those out. And here is the overall stats. We have 48, a 37, and a 7. And last but not least we have the elite set. So let's pick this up. That is the elite armor. A lot of people want this armor for some reason. The helmet looks ugly. I can see why people would like the boots and the actual plate armor though. But man, that helmet is just ugly with those antlers on it. Here is the individual stats right there. Nothing too fancy. Overall, 62, 44, and a 7. I really do not know why people like the antlers on the helmet so much. So I see people all the time on Reddit asking, where can I get the helmet with the antlers? So guys, we went through the entire armor set. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to move on to, the, to these items over here. These are all individual ones that just don't have anything to go with them. A lot of shields and a lot of just random outfit pieces I couldn't find actual full outfits for. So I'm just going to pick all these up and we're going to get through them as fast as I possibly can here. So here is the first outfit right here. Fluorescent male. There's the stats on that one right there. You guys can check that out. Here's the next one. We got the clan seg robe. Stats on that. Which looks kind of cool. It's huge. It's really big obviously but it looks nice. Then we have the black one which is the same exact thing. Just black I believe. The stats should be the same which it looks like. Oh. Actually the stats are not the same on that. Their damage bonus is different with elements. Then we have the Pearl Bird Mask, which a lot of people, if you want a, a really good speed build, you need this mask. This mask is great for movement speed. We have the Elite Hood, which has the stats on that for you guys. And then we have the Cauldron Helm, which, I don't know. It is, it's more like a funny gag. It looks ugly, but at the same time, people find it funny, I guess. Put this backpack, because this is full of random shields. So here is our first shield right here. It's a big key. And there's the stats on that. Impact resistance is 15. Next, we have the Dragon Shield. You can try to get a better image for you guys. you guys. You guys can see a little bit better. Move over here a little bit. There we go. There's the dragon shield right there. Stats on that are also 15. The fang shield with 14. Doesn't look too special, but there it is. Then we have the horror shield with a resistance of 18. Next, we have the inner marble shield that has a impact resistance of 19. And the shield itself just looks amazing. So much detail into this shield. It looks so good. Now we have just the regular marble shield with res resistance of 18. I really like the white. The marble set looks so good with that white on it. Then we have the mushroom shield, which is just obviously, obviously just a big mushroom. The old legion, the 15 impact resistance. Looks really ugly though. The bone shield. Then we have the plank one. Like I said, all these shields, I couldn't find just outfits to go with. Or they were meant to be at the outfit. This one's an impact resistance of 12. It's a standard round shield. Then we have Zorn's Demon Shield, 
which also looks really nice. Let me, get, let me step out here. Let me get away from all these other shields. There we go. And there is that, which looks really, really good, I think. I really like the look of it. So now, guys, it's time to get through all the clothing sets. And there is a lot. So please, please just bear with me on this one. It's going to take a while. So we'll do this outfit first. Here is the first one. Everything on this I like besides the helmet, but individual stats. There you go. There's a resistance on everything. Let's go here. There's the overall right there for you guys. Probably something you guys can see a mage wearing, I'd imagine. Next, we have just the actual bone or skeleton costume. There is no stats on these items. It's just like a little Easter eggs in the game you can get. Now, a lot, a lot of what you're about to be seeing here is just random clothes that you're going to see NPCs wearing. But like, here's all the different ones. All the stats are the same. There's just sandals as well. So not too much with these ones. The stats really aren't anything to even show overall because there's just really nothing there. Let's pick up this stuff though. So here's our next outfit. Which looks interesting. Not sure why a water skin was required. I'm not sure why I even said that. But here's the different outfits right there for you guys. And the actual hot weather defense is actually fairly good on these. The stats are the same for the actual clothing pieces. So here's the overall for this. Some fairly good resistance for the hot weather though. Now this outfit I actually do like a lot. Here's what that looks like. You know, again, there's really not much going on here stat wise. I'll still show them though. We have this as well with the dress. There's a dress set for this as well. Here's our first set right there. There's the individual stats right there for you guys. This is the elite. This is the actual elite set, as you guys can tell. Obviously, besides like the boots. But let's go here. Here's your overall stats for that. So now we're upon the actual just desert one. There's the actual desert right there. Individual stats for those two. Here's the overall. I'm trying to move as fast as I can, by the way, just so you guys can actually see everything in a short amount of time so i want to keep you forever here and here's this armor set with this desert tunic right here here's the stats for that one now next we have the gold lich set which a lot of you guys have probably already have or have seen here's what that looks like though with the with the shield with it too there's the shield let's go back here in individual stats on this right here like it already right now this entire set is running minus 70 percent of your normal mana cost here's the overall defense stats on it right now you guys can check that out Pretty good armor set, especially if you're trying to do mana and not have to worry about your mana cost. Next, we had the Pathfinder armor set, which probably should have been back there, but it's okay. I must have just looked over it. No big deal. It happens. Here is the first one. Again, a great looking outfit. This is definitely one, if I was an RP -er, I just I would definitely probably wear this outfit because it looks just so good and kind of aggressive too at the same time. Wrong boots though. There we go. So here is the Pathfinder boot set, the armor, and the mask. Here's the overall for that. Stats are actually fairly good, I think, overall. Let's go to the Ashen boot set now. Armor and the mask. Again, looks a little bit different, but here's the stats for that. I think the first one is probably my favorite out of the two. Overall, is right there for you guys. But let me know what you guys think down in the comment section so far. What has been your favorite outfit? I'd really love to know. So let's drop all this back where I found it. So this is the Master Trader outfit. We have the hat, the grab or armor set, and the boots. Again, very good for movement speed stuff. If you guys want to get your movement speed high, here's the overall stats right there. Right, this entire set gives you plus 25% movement speed, which is fairly good. Next, we have the first set, which again, looks fairly well. I actually really like the first set. I don't like the helmet, but the actual armor piece and the boots, I think, look really nice. Here is the overall stats for that with the resistance, you guys can see. Here's the overall stats right there for you guys. And now we have the arcane. The arcane definitely looks interesting. Obviously, feathers, like the bird light look going on there with like the duck bill. Here is the overall stats for this. The resistance on this set is actually fairly good. And it even comes with a minus 25% mana cost. Pretty nice looking set, if I had to say. If I was a mage, I'd probably be running around, running around with this set. But there is no boost for it either, so do keep that in mind. If you're someone that wants a full set with boots, that would not be the one for you. Okay, now we have the makeshift leather attire. There's that right there. Obviously, just very standard, very plain and ugly. There's the overall stats for that. Now, the last one for this row is the scaled armor set. Or scaled leather set, I should call it. Here's the boots, the actual armor piece, and the hat. I actually like the look of this one. Looks actually pretty nice. Here's the overall stats for it for you guys right there. I really like the, the feather in the hat there. I mean, if I could get a different color in the hat, that feather would look really nice. So guys, we finally finished that row. Now it's time to tackle the biggest row out of everything here. And some unfortunately got a little mixed up, but we'll I'll get that sorted out. So here is our first set of everything. So let me pick all this up because there's going to be multiple sets with this stuff. So this one goes there. There we go. So here's our first set right here, the tattered robe set. Got the boots, the armor, and the hood. 
The stats on this is going to be pretty much nothing, honestly. Okay, so I actually picked up two different outfits here. They got a little bit mixed up, but that's okay. So this is a dark rich one. Okay. So here's the first one right here, the bright rich attire. There's that. So you guys can see there's different stats on that right there. There's the overall for that. Next we have what is the dark one. So we can do the dark one. There's that. The stats are the same for the two different outfit pieces. And then here is the Entomber. I'm probably butchering that, but this one looks super nice. I really, really like the look of this, and the resistance is actually really good. 45-45 with a 33 defense. Pretty good set, and man, does it just look beautiful. Uh, guys, really quickly, there is boots for that other set that I showed you. Totally forgot to pick them up. That's my bad, but there's the stats on those right there. You guys can check those out. Now, here's our first Bright Nobleman set, which again, just looks super nice. It's kind of the same as the other one. It's not blue, obviously. Here's the stats on those right there with the overall. There it is. Then we have the dark set of it, which again, just looks great. This entire outfit set just looks so good. Doesn't, it doesn't even matter what color you have it in. It just looks amazing. All right, so here we go. This is all festival stuff. And that's the red set. There's, there's the red set right there. Then we have the purple. And then we have just these random, like, really cool looking masks. Like there's obviously a deer. The Hound, we have this thing, which looks super ugly. This is my favorite one by far. I actually got this mask within the first day of the game actually coming out. I thought it was so nice looking. Now these next few outfits I will be showing you guys, I'm actually not gonna show overall stats because it's just nothing you'd ever, ever combat in. Like just worker boots, worker attire and a hood. We have a green one and I think this one is the one that goes with it, obviously. Then we have a blue one and some dark boots as well. Again, the outfits do look cool. I like them, but it's obviously nothing you ever fight in because they do just get melted right away. Next right here is the novice robes. There's the robe and the hat. Here's the overall stats on that. 50-50-50. That's actually pretty good defense-wise, I think. This is probably something I'd definitely uh, pick up and keep in your stash if you could. And now next we have the priest attire, which also is actually a fairly good-looking set. I don't really like the helmet, but I like the actual robe itself. But there's the boots, the robe, and the actual helmet right there. And here's the overall stats for that, which you have 70, 70, 70, and 26. It's an, it's an upgrade from that one I just showed you. But again, this, the stats on it, the resistance is fairly good, I think. All right, here we go. Next is all the jade stuff. And there's actually quite a few sets for this. There's, there's at least two. So let me open this up. Make sure I got this right. Okay, so we, we got this right. So we have the mask. I'm going to put this one on first. So here's what the standard set looks like. That's your white right there. There's in the individual stats for that, as you guys can see. Here's the overall for that right there. If we come back here, here's what the dark one looks like. And the stats do change fairly, so here we go. There's the stats for that right there. And then this is the mask. I'm going to take all these off, actually, just put the mask on. There's the mask right there. With There's the overall stats for that. And there's what it looks like with the white set, which obviously looks it looks a lot better on this one than the black one, because the helmet doesn't have the black back, just the white. But definitely a very cool looking outfit if you're looking to RP a little bit. Next we have the looter outfit. There's nothing to us whatsoever, there's not even boots to it, the stats are just nothing, so I'm not going to show the overall, but that's what that one looks like. Now here we go. Then we have the scavenger outfits. Let me grab all of this because there's a lot to grab in this this pile here. So here's what the first one looks like right here, guys. There's the stats on that. Again, nothing special, so I'm not going to show all of it. Let's go to this one with the hat. This is the upgrade version of it, as you guys can see. And it looks really good. It's, I like it more than the first one. Stats are nothing special, though. There's a scarf. And I think just multiple hats, yeah. If I was to get this one though, I'd get this black set over this one. Almost done here. Now we have the, the adventurer set, which is that right there. And honestly, I don't like this outfit. Some of you probably will though. There's the stats on it. Individuals. A little the overall. There's the overall with the 80 resistance to fire. That's pretty good though. And this is the padded set. It's the padded armor set. There's the boots. We have the armor and the helm. Here's the overall stats for that. And last but not least, we have a lot of trader outfits. Let me pick all these up. There's a lot to go through here, but they do look fairly cool. Like, I do like this outfit, honestly. I'd probably lose the hat if I could, but overall, they look fairly nice. And it seems like all of them match fairly well. There's purple, the blue, the green. You know, they all look, they all do look nice, even without the hat. 
So guys, that is every outfit that is currently in the game. If you want to see the outfits that you can only get by spawning them in, I'll leave a link right here in the annotation in the top right corner for you guys and check it out there. Because they actually show all the outfits that can only be spawned in, such as the ghost robes and the helmets and stuff like that. But let me know down below in the comment section what's your favorite outfit for combat, what's your favorite outfit just to wear while you're just casually venturing around a city and stuff like that. I'd love to know. And if you guys have any good outfit combinations, leave them down below in the comment section for other people to see as well. So guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see all of you guys in the next video.